Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the fireside slippers. These are such a cozy and fun pair of slippers to work. They're worked in a super bulky weight yarn, so they're very quick to work up, very thick. And then they also have an added bonus of having a double thick cozy sole, which I will show you later on in the video. This pattern includes four sizes, one of which I'm going to work here in the video today. It includes a women's size 5-6 as our small, which would be about a men's 4-5. This is a unisex pattern, both for men and women. You'll also have a size medium, which is for women's size 7-8 and men's size 6-7. A women's size 9-10 for your large, which is a men's size 8 to 9, and an extra large size for a women's size 11 to 13, or men's 10 to 12. That being said, as it is worked in a wool blend yarn, there can be a little bit of stretch. So if your feet are measuring a little bit larger, don't worry, they do, uh, they are quite forgiving as well. So if you need those sizes again, the, all the sizes are written uh, on the written pattern, which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. And any of the details missing in today's video for the other sizes that I'm not working can be found there as well as the full free written pattern. For the tutorial today, uh, I'm going to be working this small size and giving you the adjustments where necessary. And you're going to need some super bulky weight yarn. I'm working with this Woolies Thick and Quick. There is about 107 or 106 yards per ball of yarn. It is a number six super bulky weight. For the slippers themselves, for the small size, you're going to need approximately 105 yards per pair. So one ball of yarn will do for the small size. For the medium size, you're going to need about 110 yards. For the large, 120. And the extra large, about 130 yards per pair. You're also going to need a 10 millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle for later on for finishing off your slippers and weaving in your ends. Once again, the free written instructions can be found on my website at richtexturescrochet.com and you'll find the direct link there in the description of this video. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and uh, let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started. For our fireside slippers today, we're going to start at the sole or the bottom of our slipper. And as I mentioned, the sole is double thick, so you're going to work two of these soles. You're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. For the size small, your foundation chain will be a total of 11 stitches. For size medium, you will work 12 stitches. Large, work 13. And extra large, work 14 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin round one by working three single crochet stitches into the second chain from your hook. You're then going to work a single crochet into each stitch all the way across until one stitch remains. When you have one stitch remaining, you're going to work three single crochet stitches into this final stitch. This is going to force you to turn your work so that you're now working along the opposite side of your foundation chain. Next, work one single crochet into each remaining stitch or in each stitch along the opposite side of your foundation chain until you have that one stitch remaining, until you come to that first single crochet stitch. Now 
when you come to that first single crochet stitch you can join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch and chain one. For round two continue working in the same direction and you're going to begin by working a half double cro two half double crochet stitches in each of the first three stitches. So starting in that same stitch as joining, work two half double crochets, two half double crochets into the next stitch, and then two half double crochet stitches into the next stitch. You're then going to work one half double crochet into the next, and then for your small size, work one single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. If you're working your medium, you will work one single crochet in each of the next eight, nine stitches if working your large, and ten if you're working the extra large size. You're then going to work two single crochet stitches in each of the next three stitches. Finally, work one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches, eight for the medium, nine for the large, and ten for the extra large. You will have one stitch remaining into this final stitch, work one half double crochet, and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round two, for your size small, you'll have a total of 28 stitches. Let me just see if I can pull up the other ones for you, for your size medium. You'll have a total of 30 stitches. For your size large, you'll have 32, and you'll have 34 stitches at the end of this round, two for the slipper soles. For round three of your slipper soles, you're going to chain one, continue working in the same direction. You're going to begin by working two half double crochet stitches in each of the first six stitches. You're then going to work a half double crochet into the next stitch and one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. You're then going to work two single crochet stitches into each of the next six stitches. I should have added if you were working your medium, that would have been a single crochet in each of the next eight, in each of the next nine for your large, and each of the next ten for your extra large. And then work your two single crochet stitches in each of the next six stitches. You're then going to work one single crochet stitch in each of the next seven stitches, eight for that medium, nine for the large, and ten for the extra large. Just 
You'll have one stitch remaining. Work a half double crochet into that final stitch and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For all sizes, you can now fasten off. Go ahead and weave in any ends and then repeat rounds one, two, and three for the second sole. Once you have worked your second sole, you're going to, uh, you can either fasten off and then rejoin, or if you want, after you've worked that second one, you can leave your yarn attached, and you're simply going to place one sole over the top of the other. You want to make sure that your toes are lined up, that's the wider part, and your heels down below. We're now going to work one round of single crochet stitches, working through both thicknesses of our soles. So this is going to join them. You're going to be working under both loops, so insert your hook in the same stitch as joining, and then you can line it up so that you're inserting your hook into the same stitch as joining down below, and then single crochet. You're going to work a single crochet, working through both thicknesses. The back side of your stitch is going to be facing out, and you just want to work your single crochet stitches in each stitch, working through both thicknesses all the way around. If you are working the size small, you'll have a total of 34 stitches. If you're working the size medium, you'll have a total of 36. You'll have 38 stitches if you're working the size large, and you'll have 40 stitches if you're working the size extra large. When you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round one, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. You're now going to work two more rounds of single crochet stitches. So single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around, always working the same direction. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one, and repeat. If you're working the sizes small and medium, you're going to work two more rounds, so rounds two and three. If you're working a size large, you will work three rounds, so rounds two, three, and four. And if you're working the size extra large, you're going to work five rounds. So rounds two, three, four, and five. So a total of four rounds more. Once you have completed that, you can meet me back here. Uh, join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and at the end of the final round we're actually going to be fastening off. At the end of your round three of your slipper sides for your size small, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch and you can then go ahead and fasten off and weave in that end if you desire. You're then going to, from your stitch where you're joined, you're going to count up five stitches. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Into that fifth stitch, in the back loop only, you're going to join your yarn just with a slip stitch. You're then going to work for your size small a single crochet in the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. So in the back loop only there's one, two, I guess when you're looking at it this way, it's your front loop only, three and four. If you are working your size medium, large, or extra large, you're actually going to be working one in each of the next five. Just going to confirm that for my medium, yes. So in each of the next five stitches, if you're working the size medium, or large or extra large. You're then going to slip stitch into the front loop only there 
of the next stitch. And then turn your work. We're only working in rows. Now for rows 2 through to 15, you're going to skip that slip stitch and work a single crochet into each stitch all the way across. So in each single crochet stitch. So you should have four stitches each time. There's one, two, three, and four. And you're then going to slip stitch into the loop on the opposite side. So here it's my back loop only. It's always the loop toward the inside of the slipper. Slip stitch, turn, do not chain one, work a single crochet into each stitch, single crochet stitch all the way across. And slip stitch into the stitch, the next stitch on your slipper sides, turn and repeat. So if you're working the small size as I am here, you're going to do this for a total of 15 rounds or 15 rows. If you are doing this for the medium, you're going to work 17 rows, 18 rows if you're working the large, and uh, sorry, 19 rows if you're working the large, and then 21 rows if you are working the extra large. And then you can meet me back here. Once you have worked your 15 rows, that's for your size small, uh, 17 for the medium, 19 for the large, and 21 for the extra large. You've joined with the slip stitch into your front loop only of the final stitch there. You're then going to work the back of your slipper so you can leave your yarn attached. Now under the next, in the next stitch on your slipper side, working under both loops, you're going to work a single crochet in each of the next 19 stitches all the way across to the other side of your top. Once you come to the other side of the front, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the same stitch under both loops as your final stitch of the slipper top. So you can see here where you worked in the front loop only. Now we're going to join under both loops only of that same stitch with a slip stitch. You're then going to turn your work and work two more rows of single crochet stitches in each single crochet around. So you're going to skip that slip stitch and work a single crochet into each of those 19 single crochet stitches. At the end you're going to join once again with a slip stitch into that same stitch as your uh, final row of your slipper top. Turn and then single crochet again in each of the 19 single crochet stitches. I'll show you here once I come around to my opposite side. And then I'll give you the counts for the medium, large and extra large. So once you come all the way around, you're just working in the single crochet stitches. And you're going to once again join with a slip stitch. 
one more stitch there into that final stitch into the same stitch as where you joined the top and then turn and work one more round of single crochet stitches for this size small. So this is round, a row. So this is rows one, two, and three for the slipper back. If you're working the size medium, uh, for the slipper back, you're going to be working the same. So rows one, two, and three. For the size large, you're going to work four rows in total of single crochet. And for this size extra large, you're going to work a total of five rows of single crochet stitches. Once you come around again at the round three or row three, you're going to join with your slip stitch into the same stitch as before and then turn your work. Now for row four, you are going to work a slip stitch in each stitch all the way around. So you can skip that slip stitch that you worked into the same stitch as your final uh, row there and then just slip stitch into each stitch all the way around the top of your slipper. This is just going to provide a little bit more reinforcement as well as a little bit of texture around the top of your slipper uh, just as the yarn does stretch a little bit when you're working it. So this will help prevent too much stretching up at the top. So you're just working these slip stitches all the way around When you come back to your first stitch, you can join with a slip stitch into that same stitch down below, and then you can fasten off. Go ahead and weave in any ends. Otherwise, your slipper is almost complete. We're going to, I'll, uh, I'm going to leave my ends out for now and just move ahead to the final piece. I'm going to pull back a little bit so you can see it a little easier. That is your slipper. So you're then going to take some yarn and I took just one piece of yarn. You can kind of measure it. It's about 20 inches. Measure it around the top of your slipper and you're going to cut it off. If you have a contrasting color on you, it does look quite nice. Uh, as I worked in my sample one there, when it's worked in a contrasting color, this is my other sample one. You can see the brown here running through it. You're just then going to, under that last round, start up at the front, and you're simply going to weave the yarn in and out through the top. This is going to allow you to have a little bit of tie up at the front. So if you find that your slippers are quite loose and falling off, you do have this tie option and it adds a little bit of detail as well to your slipper also. Uh, so just weave in and out, thread all the way around. Just want to get a little bit closer here. When you come to the front, you're going to pull it through. Then all you need to do is, if you'd like, you can add a little bit of a knot in the end to give it a little bit more of a kind of a fun finish texture and keep the yarn from unraveling. just like so. You're then just simply going to tie a bow up at the front of your slipper. And then your fireside slipper is complete. 
You can then go ahead and repeat for the second foot. There's no difference worked. I'm just going to repeat all those steps for the second foot. And then you can go ahead and enjoy your super cozy slippers. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. If you happen to make some slippers, I'd love to see some photos of your finished work or your work in progress. You can tag richtexturescrochet.com or Rich Textures Crochet, and I will come by and admire them. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.